All right, quick little video on this um, track lighting. Don't know if you've come across it before. Let me know if you have. I've seen it many times. Basically, it comes in these long aluminum, usually um, extruded aluminum pieces. And basically, the lights click in, not really click, they just slide into place and contact a piece of copper on each side to light up the lights. But as long as they're not bent out of shape, these tracks will pull out. Some of them can be really long. I got long ones and shorter ones. They come in many, many different sizes. These are some of the longest ones I've got. But now you got clean extrusion there. No screws. And then you'll have these long uh, plastic pieces that have a copper, two pieces of copper running through it. Just grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers or anything with a fine tip. Pull it out, and once you get it started, it just slides right out. Good old copper. Pretty cool. Pretty easy. You know, pretty easy to get clean extrusion and then get clean copper. Make sure you got both of them out, pop it to the side, move on to the next. Pull that out, slide it out. It adds up pretty quick. But there's two pieces in each one. I already got the second piece out of that. Usually if you just shake it, like I said, if it's not been out of shape, it'll stick out a piece for you to grab. You don't even need the pliers. You can just slide it right out. Make sure you have both pieces. Here's the one that's already tried to slide out on its own. Like I said, they're supposed to have two pieces, but some of them have just one. This one happens to just have one. Fits right in that little bottom groove there. Another one with just one. That's weird, I thought they had two. Some of them do. You can see this one has a little extra slot right up there. This one does not. So this one's going to have the second piece in there. Sticking right off the edge. Grab it right there. Super, super easy. Easiest copper you'll find. And this was brand new track lighting. Found it in a dumpster. Uh, an old Kroger that changed locations. I'm not sure why they had so much track lighting that they threw out. Probably could have just sold it, but 
it had been rained on the packaging was not in the best of shape there's two pieces sliding out at the same time easy 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 half the time it's already sticking out to grab check one end if it's not on that end it's probably on the other I'm hoping they'll take that as number one. That's nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to send it in with my number one. Because uh, my yards like to look like bus bars. Sometimes bus bars are silver coated or tin coated. Uh, but the ones that are not, they're super squeaky clean. They don't take it as number one. Which is kind of upsetting because some of those bus bars are super heavy. And uh, I'm not sure the reasoning behind that. Someone let me know if you know. You know, they're just ripping people off and getting it for a lower price even though it's clean. You know, I can understand it being silver coated and tin coated. That they wouldn't like that mixed in with the copper, but... And on the silver coated versus tin coated, what's the easiest way that y'all determine which is which? I've got a test kit that you can scratch test and put some acid on it. I think it's nitric acid and it'll turn a color. And you can determine whether it's tin or silver. Is there a way to recover that silver is what I'm getting at. Um, cause some of these bus bars seem heavily plated. So if it is silver, I know plated doesn't really have that much weight, they say, but when you got a bunch of it, I mean, it'll add up. Just like all the little pieces off of the circuit breakers, the old silver contacts, I collect all those, they add up. Too. 